is up, everyone? It's your girl, Spirit Gamer Girl, not Liza Koshi, a coming at you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Calm down. Hey, everyone, it's Spirit Gamer Girl, the internet's favorite dork, with another video. And for this video, I am going to be doing a different type of video, which that will be called a story time video, I guess, yeah. So I don't normally do these types of videos, but I thought why not because not long ago, a couple weeks ago actually, I took a trip to Washington DC with my family because there was a death in the family. I didn't know them personally, but it was my grandmother's sister-in-law and so we went there and Hillary Clinton happened to be there, and so I was just really excited, and I, for once, didn't vlog anything because it was a very, 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 very short trip, and so there wasn't really much to vlog. It would be a very boring one, so I thought I would still tell you guys this, except it'll be while I'm gaming and not just seeing my face. So, yeah, with that awkward intro out of the way, let's get on with the story. Okay, so first and foremost, if you guys don't know who Hillary Clinton is, she was one of the top runners for the presidency, which obviously if you don't already know, if you've been living under a rock, Trump won that, but that's a different thing, different topic. And so my grandmother's sister-in-law, the one who passed away, happened to work for Hillary Clinton. When she passed away, she, I guess, she happened to send out over 3,000 invitations to her funeral. And so, for secrecy's sake, I'm not going to say the name of the person who passed away, but all you know is that it was someone who worked for Hillary Clinton. But anyways, anyways. So, I found out a few weeks ago that we were going to Washington, D.C., to attend a funeral and so I had no idea that we were going to actually meet Hillary Clinton or that she was even going to be there. All I knew was that it was someone that my grandmother knew and that it was someone who had worked for Hillary Clinton and so we were going there to give like grandma like support and stuff like that and be there for her and so we ended up flying to Washington DC on a Friday and we stayed until Sunday, well flew back Sunday. And so what happened was basically on the day of the funeral, we headed to the John F. Kennedy Center for Performing Arts. We got there and we sat in the giant auditorium that is the Kennedy Center. And so we were able to, since we were close, closely related to said person, we were able to kind of go backstage area, go in the backstage area before it started. And so I kind of got to like see what it would feel like on stage, but kind of behind the scenes, not actually on stage. And so we were just like, we were there, and there was this other family who obviously was closely related, who I didn't know personally, but there were, they had a bunch of little girls that were, and there was like one little boy, and they were like so excited, and they were so cute. And uh, what I believe was the mom of them, of these children, was trying to take pictures, and so I was kind of in the way, so I was kind of like pushing myself back into the fold of the curtains and <laughs> so it all worked out fine and stuff but I was like oh let me not be in this picture um which I don't think it, might, it meant that much anyways but yeah so after standing around for about like five to ten minutes um there was like commotion and stuff like that and people were telling us like oh, okay let's head this way and I had no idea what was going on or why we were backstage in the first place because before that I was in the bathroom the whole time so I had no clue what was going on. But anyways, so we get, kind of get into a farther-ish backstage part where there was just a bunch of like pictures and other sort of things just on the wall hanging there that was like part of the community center 
And all of a sudden, my mom turns to me, and she's like, and she's like, hey, by the way, if you turn to your left, Hillary Clinton is standing right there. I was like, wait, what? What's happening? How is she here? Why is she here? And stuff like that. Because I didn't think that even though it was someone who had worked for Hillary Clinton, that she would, like, personally show up, but let alone, like, let us have, like, a little mini meet and greet with her. And so, at first, everything was okay, because I haven't had that many encounters with, like, famous people or just well-known people, let alone, like, a politician. And so, I was, like, freaking out, because I was like, I don't know what to do, I was just standing here for a second. And, like, the closer and closer I got to her, the more nervous I got, and, I, like, my hands... Like, I wish I had video of it, because my hands just started, like, instantly sweating. They started, like, shaking, like, not before. Well, before, it actually took, like, five to ten minutes before I could actually go up there and get, like, me and my family get pictures with them, because people were just, like, pushing past us, which I didn't really mind, because I was in no rush to, like, get up there. And so, after a while, after waiting for a little bit, and other people going up and talking with her. It was finally our turn, so we finally all went up. Me, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my grandma and grandpa all went up to get a picture with her, which there was like a lady there who was kind of like the official picture taker, if that's even a thing. Anyways, so we went up to take a picture. I plucked up the nerve to actually go up to her after we'd taken a family picture and asked her for a selfie, and so I was so nervous, again, I was shaking, and so the pictures, I only took two pictures, which I wish I'd taken more just in case there was other ones that came out into better quality, but I only took two pictures, so I was super nervous as I keep repeating, and so the pictures aren't the best quality, but what matters to me is that I was brave enough to walk up to her and be like, hey, can I have a picture or two with you? And she's like, yeah. And she was totally cool about it. And I have no clue if she could if she could pick up on my nervousness or not. And if she did, she was amazing about it. And so after taking the picture, I think I like walked away and then she was still standing there, but no one else was take was wanting to take pictures. So I decided to walk back up to her. And I don't remember exactly what I said. It was very short, because again, nerves. Like, I just, ugh. But anyways, so I walked back up to her and I just talked to her just very quickly about like how good she did in the election up against Trump and just basically complimenting her for everything that she's done, kind of, sort of, ish. And my dad also went up and he kind of said the same thing, but in his own way. But anyways, it was a very nerve-wracking experience, but I am, like, so glad that I did it, because it may not seem like much, it's like, oh, you just met, you just met someone that was, like, well-known, like, whatever, but for me, it was an even bigger deal, not because it was Hillary Clinton, but because I was able to face my fear, or one of my fears of being able to go up to a complete stranger, someone who I've never met before, whether it's someone who's well known or not, and be able to even, whether it's taking a picture with them or just simply walking up and talking to them, even if I'm scared out of my mind. And so for me, that was like a huge deal because I did not think I would, I would do that at all. Because I, especially when I was younger, now this is turning into a different story time, but nonetheless, it, 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 this connects to the story that I'm telling about meeting Hillary Clinton. But as I was younger, when I was younger, I was definitely afraid of talking to complete strangers, and even if I wanted to, wanted something out of someone, and, but they were talking to someone else, I had no guts, like I could not walk up to them and like try to interrupt them. And so I know this isn't necessarily the same situation, but like just being able to walk up to someone who I don't know personally and being able to talk to them with as much confidence as I had was a huge deal. 
But yeah, that's kind of a side story thing. But yeah, they, that's how it connects is because that was like a big deal. I didn't realize it at the time, but afterwards, after like the nerves had kind of soothed over, I was like, yes, girl, yes, you killed it. You were able to talk to her and not make a complete fool of yourself. After the little meet and greet session that we had with her, we all went and sat in our seats and then um, Hillary went back, well she came into the auditorium but she was just by the door talking to people and she went backstage. They went through the whole memorial with, I think it was like 15 speakers or so. It was quite a lot and so everyone had like different things to say about said this person who had passed away. And so it was very nice and for me it wasn't extremely emotional or well it wasn't very emotional at all just because I didn't, didn't personally know the person compared to maybe other people in the room which I could definitely tell but I could definitely tell that there was this like somberish mood that was in the auditorium but for me I just sat there quietly listened to everything I know Hillary Clinton spoke at some point. So after the memorial service had ended, we, it was, <laughs> so I tried to find everyone, but it was very hard to find people because I had went back into the auditorium because I wanted to get more pictures of the place. Because again, once in a lifetime opportunity, you might not get it again, blah, 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 blah. And then I came back out, and by the time I came back out, like, Everyone was in the lobby, so it was like so hard to see people, and I couldn't find anyone. And so I went back to where my mom was, or where I thought my mom was, because I had I was with her, and then I left, and then I came back and I couldn't find her. But I, I was, anyways, I was able to find them eventually, but I couldn't find them. I was like, where'd they go? I don't know. So after that, we ended up going to someone's house, which I, along with the rest of my family, didn't know pretty much anyone except for the people that we came with. And so I was able to release a butterfly, which to get a good picture with a butterfly, the butterfly wouldn't open its wings because um, it was folded in a piece of paper and they like let it go because it was like symbolic and everything. I don't remember quite what the, the meaning behind it was, but there was a very special symbolic meaning behind letting go of a butterfly. But the butterfly wouldn't open its wings, as you can see in the picture. like or all the pictures, like it wouldn't open its wings, so it wasn't as good of a picture because, yeah, that's, sorry, side tangent again. But yeah, so after staying there for a while, which my feet, I have, I still have blisters on my feet from wearing heels because it was like, mm. So after that, we still had plenty of time to just do whatever, and so I really, 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 really wanted to visit the Washington Monument, which for some reason I thought it was called the Pentagon this whole time, which then I realized, like, this is what the Pentagon is, not this, not what I thought it was. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to visit the Washington Monument as well as the White House, or as close as I could get to it. But yeah, and so of course I got a bunch of other pictures of, like, different structures and artwork and several things, which... If you don't see here, I will have them up on my Instagram and possibly my Twitter, which I will, of course, link down below as normal, and you can go check them out there, as well as give me a follow. <laughs> Self-promotion. Yeah. Anyways, anyways. So, overall, just to wrap this video up, I would say that it was a fun trip. It was rather short. But it was definitely worth going, and not just because I met Hillary Clinton, but because I was able to visit another place that I hadn't been before, because I haven't been to Washington, D.C. before until now, as well as getting to kind of experience something that I haven't experienced, I guess, in a while, which I guess is just the... I don't even know how to go about saying it, but basically being able to experience what other people go through when it comes to death, even if you're not personally affected by it, but more so being able to be there for my grandma and as well as everyone else there, even if I didn't know them personally. So overall, it was a nice fun trip and maybe I'll get another chance to go back there because it sounds like I might 
the next time my dad has a trip in DC, I might get to go. <laughs> so with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this awkward story time video as well as watching the game, I know. So if you guys did enjoy this little story time story video thing, then make sure to click that red subscribe button down below as well as follow me on all my social medias which will be shown on the screen as well as linked in the description box below or you can just go to my channel and click the little square boxes in the top right corner of my channel art banner thing if you know what I'm talking about. But with that being said, until the next video, this dork is out. Bye!